Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Captain Bailey's Adventures and Homebrew Reviews. And this is the latest creation. This is the Innsmouth Old Ale recipe. All right, that you saw that we the well, the last video that I did two weeks ago uh, was uh, the final gravity, so it came out to be about seven point three percent ABV, I believe. So it's been two weeks, you know, to the date, or well, you know, give or take, um, that this has been the bottle. So that's early. It's early for homebrew. We know that, but I like to try one at two weeks, see how it is and then come back to it later down the road. And it just always increases and gets better with age. See, yeah, we got a little hiss. Now that'll increase as the, uh, you know, bottle conditioning increases. See, as you can see, though, it's, it is car rather carved, wow. So, let me uh, just lighten up on the, uh, But yeah, well, I didn't think the head was going to be that big because it's such a, this, the uh, quiet hiss. But no, be, uh, now I don't know if I'm going to get this all in here. But the color, I think, is spot on to the recipe that's in the, you know, the homebrew book that I got most of the recipe from. I'll just leave a little bit in there. And there you go. Voila. I can just smell the effervescence from this beer. From there. I mean, it is, wow. Very fragrant. Malty. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, look at the head on that. Nice, foamy, frothy, sea foam head. Big, big bubbles. Uh, in the lighting, you know, it's kind of hard, but it's like that copperish color, um, goldish, goldish copperish. When you look at it from the lighting from here, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll do another review later down the road. I'll be drinking this for a little bit, you know, so periodically coming back and, and testing it and seeing how, because this beer is only going to increase with age. It's an old ale, Innsmouth Old Ale. My version of it, anyway. I mean, I wish I could do a side by side, but those beers by Narragansett set were like probably like one and done, that type of thing. So, on the nose, very sweet. Maybe some bready notes, but very like caramely sweetness. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm. You definitely taste the alcohol level in it. There's that heat. As I like to say with the higher ABV beers. There's that like candy type sweetness to it. Now, I believe I use, correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, you guys can go back and look at the video when I brewed this, but I believe I used Nottingham for this, which is a beast. So that's why it really worked like a workhorse and uh, got this uh, baby beat out, you know, the way it is. But, mmm. Covering up. Got my, uh, you know, I'm home from work. I got my work shirt on. I don't need to advertise where the job's at. But uh, ain't going to give them no free advertisement. What the hell they ever do for me, right? Um, <laughs> but this is really good so far. Mm. It has like, now in the recipe in the book, it says it has like sherry-like notes, you know, flavors and things going on to it. I haven't had sherry in... I don't know, ages, so I don't even know what the heck I'm looking for with that. 
but there's a there's a sweetness to it, and I just you know as a speciality beer, an experiment. Uh, I'm quite happy with this. I'm quite happy with this, especially if you have a couple of these, you're gonna be smooth sailing, as they say, as the first mate always says, right? All right, so we're gonna do a little swish and pour. I mean, there's so much sedimentation at the bottom of this. That I don't know if I'm gonna even get it out. I mean, I don't need all that yeast anyway. Don't need all that nottium yeast. <laughs> oh man. But, all right, we got some in there. Got some, ooh, some super chunky floaties now. Let's see if that taste uh, changes anything with the taste. Hmm. It did. I have more of a metallic taste, copper, coppery, very strong metal coppery taste when I did that. And I'm wondering, you know, it's rather cold. I just pulled this out of the fridge, you know, and it being, you know, the style of an old ale, I'd have to look at the serving temperature for that. But probably I would think around 55 degrees. So, I, you know, I really got to let this warm up. And so, you know, me and the first minute, we're going to go relax right now. Maybe put on a movie. You know, we just got home from work. So, um, let this warm up a little bit, you know, and see how it changes with the flavor. Maybe I'll pull some more interesting flavors out. But it's very, it's so far, it's a very interesting beer. And I know this video is getting long winded. So, I'm gonna let you guys go and until we do it again, and we'll later down the road see how this beer progresses. So cheers, my friends. Until we do it again, let's set sail.